Hello everyone, welcome to Tips and Tricks. In this video, we are going to see about curves. And before we start, I would really appreciate it if you could smash that like button, drop me a comment and share this free program with anyone who might need it. So as far as gait is concerned, circular curve is a very important topic. So what is a circular curve? Consider a circle. So in this circle, I am going to consider this arc alone. So this arc will have a radius, if this is the center of the circle, this will have a radius r throughout the circle. And this arc, if I draw it here, it will be something like this, an arc. This will be r, r, r which is our radius and we know that in a curve these parallel lines are called as chords and in this circular curve it is obvious that this is our longest chord. Now uh, these points are called the vertical point of curvature. If I draw a tangent for these points, assume that this passes through this point, this tangent. So if I draw a tangent for these two points, they will intersect at a point called the vertical point of intersection. This is called the vertical point of curvature. So now this angle made by the two tangents is called as the intersection angle. It is denoted by delta. If this is delta, then this angle will also be equal to delta. Now we know that if this is delta by 2, then this angle this angle with a tangent will also be equal to delta by 2. Another thing that we have to know here is this is called as the mid ordinate and this is called as the apex distance and this distance is called as the tangent length. First let us look into the formula to find the mid ordinate. So to find the mid ordinate we know that this is our circle this is our mid ordinate this is a circular curve, this is our mid-ordinate and this is our radius, this is also our radius and this is also radius. It is evident that our mid-ordinate, this distance is equal to radius minus something. So what is this something? Radius minus this distance, this is radius, this minus this distance will give us our mid-ordinate. So what is this distance? It can be seen that from the triangle that uh, this angle is delta by 2 so this is delta by 2 so and uh, this distance is radius r so my this distance will be equal to r cos theta which is equal to r cos my theta is delta by 2 so my mid ordinate the answer for the formula for my mid ordinate is equal to radius minus r cos delta by 2. Next let us find out apex distance. Again this looks like an ice cream cone. Again this distance is our apex distance. This is my r, this is also my r and this is also my r. So uh, again it is evident that our apex distance is equal to something minus r. That will give us our apex distance. So what is this something? This something is nothing but r sec delta by 2. So the formula for our apex distance is r sec delta by 2 minus r. Next our third formula is for length of the long chord. Again, if we draw the diagram, it will be something like this. We need to find this whole length. We know that this is r, this is r and this is r. So when I take this tri particular triangle, this will be something like this. So this is r, this is my delta by 2. I need to find this. It is uh, evident that this is equal to r sine theta, which is equal to r sine delta by 2. So the formula for my length of the chord is equal to 
this is only for this part of the um, chord so in order to get the whole length I have to multiply it by 2 so the length of the long chord is equal to 2 into r sine delta by 2 this will give me the length of the long chord next let me find the tangent length this is my tangent length I have to find this so this can be found out using the formula r tan delta by 2 this will give us our tangent length so there are four formulas and something which I kept in mind is that um, you can see that our mid ordinate distance is vertical our apex distance is also a vertical distance the length of the chord is a horizontal distance and our tangent length is an inclined distance so for my vertical distance I have got cos in my formula and for apex distance which is also vertical I have got seek in my formula we know that cos and seek are reciprocal to each other so for my vertical uh, uh, distances I have the things which are related to cos next is the length of long chord which is in horizontal distance horizontal is opposite to vertical so here my angle will be sin theta will be sine which is the opposite of cos similarly we know that our tangent length is an inclined length so inclined means for my cos uh, it is a vertical for my sine it is horizontal so for inclined it will be my tan theta so this is how I kept in mind you can keep anything that you want in mind so uh, before going to the problem let us look into another small topic here which is called the length of the curve we know that we have a curve here and every every other parts of the curve so the length of the curve is this this is our length of the curve this is my radius this is also my radius this is also my radius so uh, typically the length of the curve is given by this is my uh, uh, angle so length of the curve is equal to radius into angle this will give me my length of the curve but the problem here is I need my length of the curve in meters but the angle here is going to be in degrees here uh, it will be something like 20 degrees or 30 degrees something like that in order to get my answer in meter this has to be in radians so I'm going to uh, apply a correction factor or conversion factor here we know that 180 degree is equal to pi radians so I want uh, I want to convert my degree so my degree is equal to pi by 180 into radians so my this formula will become something like this L is equal to R into delta instead of degree I am going to apply a correction factor which is equal to pi by 180 that's it so this is the formula for my length of the curve now let us look into the problem my first problem is the vertical point of intersection is 100 meters away from the vertical point of curvature if the vertical curve is parabolic the length of the curve in meters is what so uh, we know the uh, we know which is the vertical point of intersection let me draw the curve first this is my curve these are my tangents again assume that it point passes through this point this is my vertical point of curvature this is my vertical point of intersection so now they have given that my vertical point of intersection is 100 meters away from the vertical point of cur curvature which means that this distance is 100 meters the length of the curve measured along the horizontal which means they have asked for this total length so it is very easy and simple you can guess the answer right away it is equal to 2 times of 100 meters which is equal to 200 meters so that is your answer this was a one more question asked in gate 2017 now let us um, solve a slightly tough problem so the question goes like this two straight lines intersect at an angle 60 the radius of the curve joining the two straight lines is 600 meters uh, the length of the long chord and mid ordinates in the curve are what so now uh, let me draw the diagram this is my curve again 
they have given that my delta is equal to 16 degree and the radius of the curve joining the two straight lines is 600 meters so this is 600 meters they have asked for the length of the long chord and uh, the mid ordinate uh, length of the long chord is equal to 2 times of r sine delta by 2 so this will give us 2 times of 600 into uh, sine delta by 2 is 30 degrees so this will give me my calculator gives me the answer 600 meters because sine 130 uh, sine 30 is 1 by 2 2 and 2 gets cancelled gives me 600 meters so next uh, let me find the mid ordinate so my mid ordinate is equal to I know that mid ordinate is nothing but my radius minus something and that something is r cos theta by 2 so now uh, my mid ordinate is equal to r minus r cos theta by 2 so this will be 600 minus 600 cos uh, 30 degrees uh, for which my calculator gives me the answer of 80.4 meters so these two are the answers so uh, till date uh, only questions have been asked from circular curve if you like this video please do like share and comment i'll see you guys in the next video bye